What's up, everybody? How's it going? Today we're playing Dota 2. But good things come to those who wait. Be patient. Every minute you stay in place, you get something nice. If you move, you'll just have to wait longer. Yeah, I haven't moved yet. I'm not... I'm not going to move. <laughs> <laughs> we got Dragonite because I ran them. Um, which seemed like the lowest effort option to, to do. And so now we're just kind of chilling. How's everybody doing? All right, we can talk. We can just hang out. You know what I did today? All right, so I kind of told you how I'm like really stressed and kind of like, oh, I think I'm really stressed. And that's why I'm like experiencing all sorts of like pain and shit. And um, one thing that, oh, hey, Vibin, Vibin Iced Lime. Thank you so much for giving five subs. That is so nice of you, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Imagine you see me being forced to move. That's a big oof. That's a very big oof. So has anybody gotten anything yet? Or does it only count at the start of the game? Maybe I should have gone into the mid lane then. I thought it would it would count from the very beginning. Is that it? <laughs> you got a man, we got a mango. <laughs> We've been standing in place and we got a mango. <laughs> I'm just gonna assume that something else is gonna happen as well. It's not just gonna be mangoes over and over again. Oh, we got some wards! Oh, somebody's moving. Oh, I'm not gonna be moving. I go boards. You get better stuff if you wait longer. Hey, vibe and ice slime. Thank you so much for the five subs, though. Good Appreciate job, it. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah. So um, a little while ago, I don't know, like three weeks ago, maybe. Uh, what I started doing is I started running in the morning. Right, I would get up and then would go for a run, and did that for like two weeks. And honestly, I, I felt really good about it. Right? It was nice. I went outside. I think I even told you about it. I went outside in the morning, you know. I didn't, like, immediately go into the, my dark room here and, like, do my bidding on the internet. Oh, I'm level two! I think that's just passive experience game, though. Um, you know, but instead I actually, like, uh, you know, went outside a bit. And, and that felt nice. But, I got fucked up knees. And so, after a little while of that, um... My knees just started hurting. Hey, we got a rune! This is not worth it! Oh no, butterfly, you moved! I'm not gonna move. I'm not moving. <laughs> we got a rune. Um, no, but I got... I, my, my knees started hurting really badly. And it kind of like took the fun out of it. You know, like I enjoyed it until the point where it was just too painful to really enjoy it. And so, so I stopped. And, you know, like, I feel like ever since then, like, my stress has gotten worse. Also just because my stress has gotten worse. But I think that definitely hasn't helped. So, what I did this morning, what I tried instead, is instead of going for a run, I just went for a walk. I did the same thing I did when I went running in the morning, right? I, I, I got up at my normal time, and, you know, instead of, like, going into my room in here, instead of going into my office and, like, turn on the computer... I didn't even go in here, completely off limits. I just uh, had a little bit of water, uh, put on some clothes, and just went outside for a bit of a walk. Hey, look, I got an item. Man, this is really worth it. I'm sure that I will not regret this. Uh, eventually, we'll be really strong. But yeah, anyway, that was kind of like, you know, kind of how I, how I, uh, Oh, I did it this morning, and honestly, I felt, I felt really good about it. Like it was nice, just kind of going for, going outside. Didn't even go for like a long walk. I just went for like a little bit of a walk, right? I think I was out for like twenty minutes or so. And honestly, it just felt good. Um, but as I was walking, uh, I actually like kind of my path just took me to the local graveyard. So I was like. I guess, I don't know. So I just kind of walked through it, right? It's not like you're not allowed to. So I just kind of like walked through it. And as I did that, I saw one grave. <laughs> Where a lot of earth had been spilled everywhere. <laughs> and it's just dirt, like as if something was 
pushing it out. So what I'm telling you is that the zombies are coming. That's what I'm really telling you. I, I assume that's not where you thought this was going. I, I gotta admit, I didn't think that's where it was going either, but that's where we ended up. Um, yeah, so... So there was that. Uh, honestly, I have no idea what was going on there. Like that, that genuinely looked really scary. <laughs> kind of strange. Um, but yeah, we're level three. I mean, like I'm feeling pretty good about myself. I I bet there's one nerd in this game. That's that's actually just laning, and it's just way stronger than us. Right? Like this is terrible. These are my I these are not good items. This is this is really bad. I've been sitting here for five minutes and I got five selves. <laughs> what is this garbage? Your bottom tower is under attack. That's okay. Um we're just gonna kind of chill. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna use my tome. Here we go. So yeah, anyway, uh, I think I'm gonna keep doing that though. It was nice, you know, just kind of like went outside and really woke me up as well. And um, it's kind of like a little bit low pressure. And uh, yeah. And I gotta admit, I, I felt, I feel today, I feel less stressed. Kind of overall. And... I'm just gonna go ahead and, and assume that maybe that helped, All right? Do you see a doctor about those knees, though? Uh, no. I probably should. Nikki says so, too. I just don't really like going to the doctor. But no, my I, I do have pretty fucked up knees. It's actually, it was actually kind of really annoying. Like, today I was making a lunch and it really hurt. That kind of hurt to stand just... I don't know. Your bottom is under attack. Anyhow, imagine being a arena. Imagine moving, dude. <laughs> imagine moving. <laughs> Your bottom tower is under attack. So anyway, well, we confirmed old. That is true. I am very old. I got a magic wand. Your bottom tower. I got a magic one. Guys, this has really been worth it. I I mean, I, I have <laughs> I've made more money for passive court. <laughs> oh man. Um Your bottom tower is under Yeah, anyway. We're just gonna keep hanging out. I mean, come on guys, you gotta you gotta be like I just I just assume we're gonna get a divine rapier soon, right? Or some super broken secret item, something. It can't just be this. <laughs> this can't be the entire game mode. So I'm just gonna keep hanging out here and not doing anything, and that's it. I got a mango tree. Nice. Very important. Very important. My knees are fucked too. Order some trauma care of Amazon. What is this? Oh, it's a cream. Relief muscle pain. But it's not muscles. There's no muscles there. It's just my knees. It's my joints. I don't know. Here's, here's the thing. Alright, guys. Okay. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to the doctor about my knees. Right, please don't take this. I, you know, vibe and ice. I'm really appreciated, right? But don't take this with any disrespect. But I'm, I'm gonna talk to my doctor and not just kind of buy a random thing off the internet and hope that it gives me like medicinal benefits, right? Um. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go to the doctor. But yeah, <clears throat> I got a shovel, guys. This is garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is not good. Oh my god. Look at these, look at these nerds. It's just like playing the game. You know what? 
I, I feel like we are the real winners here. Right? Your top tower is under attack. I I feel I feel like I am the one that's on the moral high ground. And I will never come down from this hill. That's right. That's right. We will stay on top of this mountain and we will enjoy ourselves. Hey, Mr. Shudu. Back in November. The copy of Disassels I got in February was in German instead oh, of English, no. so I took it as a challenge to learn a little German. <laughs> oh method. no, Mr. Shudo! <laughs> no! I am so sorry. We can send you an English one. Apologies. If you would like, uh, if you would like us to send you an English one, we will send you an English one. Not a problem. Apologies for making that mistake. Um, yeah, it happens. Right. But just kind of send me an email or send Mickey an email. It's probably better. And we will send you like a replacement copy. Uh, check if buildings have items. Why would buildings have items? Oh, because they're not moving. <laughs> I trust if you stay still for more time, the enemy engine will spontaneous combust and implode. That's what I'm hoping for. Right? I'm hoping that that's kind of the trick of the game mode, that it's been very carefully calculated out that if you wait long enough, right, if you wait a long enough amount of time, then the enemy's ancient will just die. But it's been calculated in such a way that that amount of time is just below the amount of time required to, or like, to kill the enemy ancient if you don't stick to the game mode. All right? So just as our ancient hits like 2 HP, theirs will explode because we've been patiently waiting for that to happen. Alright, level 16. Well, fuck, that actually puts me pretty high level. Oh my god. Guys, is it happening? Is the payoff happening? <laughs> Help, they're killing our base. No, I'm not gonna move. This is, this is a matter of wills, everybody. We are going to, we are going to uh, show our superiority by virtue of um, waiting, just waiting a lot, continuing to wait. Invisible? I'm not invisible because of the game mode. I'm invisible because uh, somebody has a shadow amulet. Oh, we got a ghost scepter, poggers. That is. Useful, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> All right. You know what? We'll take it. We'll take it. The good news is that it's a more expensive item. Like, it's getting up there, you know? The strength is strong. I find it very funny how we're getting increasingly more viewers as we're playing this game. <laughs> playing this game? <laughs> oh, my God. You know, I think we have more viewers right now than we would if I just played a normal match of Dota, right? Like, just there's more people interested in seeing what's going to happen. Which is fair. I'm more interested in seeing what's going to happen. Um. Oh, they killed the tower. Not enough. We tanky. I'm going to go ahead and skill my stuff, you know. Oh, Philosopher's Stone. Very good. I mean, that that plays nicely into what I'm already doing, which is nothing. <laughs> it does nothing. I I saw, was, uh, saw a streamer recently get three times as usual viewership when they were just watching paint dry, literally. Dude, that sounds banging. You know, like, I've actually been thinking a lot about, like, how to have a good stream and, like, how to construct a good stream. Because you guys know... Right, like my backup plan in terms of like if Chroma doesn't work out, what I'm gonna do, and I'm just gonna go in and stream stuff. And like honestly, I'm what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna go just kind of like do my usual streaming and just kind of like but probably try and transition out of Dota a bit. And um and then I want to uh like maybe just kind of make some void games. Um but what anyway, point being that I got cheese, very important. Very nice. Um, point being that then I would like to kind of like, or I have kind of thought about like, how do you make a nice stream? And I think something that is really helpful and really valuable 
is if you have a stream with this stuff happening, which I know that doesn't sound like very definitive in terms of what it is, but basically just kind of saying that it is very valuable if people can go to your stream and you can see there's something interesting going on. Not just you playing a game, but, you know, there's like an event associated with the game or there's, you know, like there's a reason why you're doing this. It's not just that you're doing it. You're doing it with purpose. Oh my God, the cheese actually coming in. Holy hell, I can't believe it. No, butterfly, you move! Get out! You're banished from this brotherhood! Standing strong. You know what, Darkseer? You know what, Butterfly? You're allowed back in. I respect the buyback to get back to standing. <laughs> I respect the buyback to get back to standing as quickly as possible. Oh yeah, my friend. That is the good shit. Alright. But yeah, you know, like, that's kind of like a thing where I think, like, you want to have stuff going on, right? Not, don't just stream Dota or don't just stream whatever game you're streaming, but, like, participate in tournaments. Like, do things, you know? Like, is there an event that might be related to this? Is there something, anything at all? Make it interesting. Don't just play a single-player game. Play a single-player game, but put a twist on it. Speedrun it. But don't just speedrun it. Speedrun a weird category. You get what I mean, right? Make it interesting. Make it an event. Um, and uh, and I think that's kind of like how you can really like build new viewership and such. I got a blink dagger. Now, um, you might be like, "Bami, well, if you if you if if you think that, then why don't you do that?" Well, I don't have time for it, right? Like, I do. I that requires you know effort and like time and attention to be able to like plan the streams and all of that stuff. It's not that easy. You can't just show up and do it. Um, of course, the just show up and stream something streams, those also exist, but I think in general, they're just less likely to succeed, right? So, like, for example, a streamer that really blew up recently is Ludwig. And I think Ludwig uh, blew up for kind of three reasons, right? So, first of all, of course, he's entertaining. And I'm not trying to take that away from him. I'm not trying to take that away from everyone. But I'll be completely honest, I actually think that's not that important. <laughs> like, I just don't think that matters that much. Um, as long as you're like, reason like reasonably entertaining, it's fine. It's fine. Like you don't have to be the most entertaining person on the planet, right? But what Ludwig did really right is he participated in a lot of events. Like anything he could participate in. Hey, we got TP booths, poggers. Uh, anything that Ludwig could participate in, he participated in, right? Which, that, what that allowed him to do is just kind of make it so he stream. there's something interesting going on a lot of the time. But also, but also, very importantly, it made his stream kind of an event a lot of the time, right? Because there's always something going on. And then, um, he also kind of like does challenges, right? Where he doesn't just like stream Pokemon, but he'll stream Pokemon, but there's like, he's doing a Nuzlocke or, or some sort of punish game or something like that. And there's always a thing going on that goes along with it. And I think that's something you see in a lot of streamers these days, where like they kind of like have punish games to go along with. Like, for example, you might be playing, um, you know, you might be playing like Hearthstone Battlegrounds. You've got Aghanims. All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we could never have gotten arguments on our own. <laughs> at, at 17 minutes. If not for this game mode. How, uh, what a blessing. How nice, how nice everybody. But yeah. So anyhow. Uh, you're thinking too complicated. If you think about Asmongold, for example, 45,000 years just doing vouts because he's entertaining while doing menial, boring tasks. He talks to his computer, community, includes him in everything he does, and that's what keeps people around. No, you're wrong. So here's the thing about Asmongold and streamers like that. Is Asmongold is popular because all Asmongold started streaming World of Warcraft when all of this started, right? He, Asmongold has been around forever, right? So what Asmongold did is kind of what I did with YouTube. Where I don't think my channel is the best channel in the world. It's just I've been doing YouTube since 2008. Right? 
So I have just spent way more time doing this than other people that have started later. And as a result, I will not move. If you want to fight me, if you want to attack me, if that's who you are, then do it, you coward. By a heart. Fight me, you coward. I will not move. Right, but the thing about Asmongold is, is something that really, at this point, like after a certain point, like these kind of streamers, they kind of ride on momentum, right? Where they are entertaining because they are so big. And they are so big because they've been doing it for such a long time, right? It's all kind of a pattern of like, like self-fulfillment, right? Where if I go into World of Warcraft now, Asmongold is the top streamer. Is it because Asmongold is the most entertaining streamer? Probably not. But instead, it's because he's the biggest streamer. So that's the streamer I will click on if I want to watch World of Warcraft. Now, that's something that works for streamers that are established and have been doing this for a long time and they have an audience, right? That works for them. And they don't have to change anything. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with what Asmongold does. But what I am saying is that if you are now trying to become a new streamer, you're trying to grow, you're starting a new channel and you're trying to get to that same space, you want to be one of those top streamers. Yeah, well, you can't just sit there and only play World of Warcraft all day doing menial, boring tasks and hoping that the community shows up of their own. That's not going to happen. Right? That's just not going to happen. You're going to need to put in a little bit more than that. Right? It's about how do you get there when you're starting from zero. We got Necrobog, everybody. That's banging. Right? Now, of course, you can... So somebody said being a top dog in a new game. Of course, you can wait until the next Fool Guys comes out and then hope that for some reason you're the first person to discover it and then hope that for some reason you are the one that people flock towards instead of the established streamers that they already watch. But is that really guaranteed to work? How dare you? You are not my best friend. You're nobody's best friend. What a wiener. God, I can't even buy back. Unbelievable. <sighs> I should have used my refresh on stunned again. That's what I have done. Right? And honestly, again, like the approach of just kind of like starting, like this is basically what you're saying with like, you know, wait until a new game comes out and like try to catch that audience. That's true. Right? But the thing is that... What am I trying to say? It's not gonna kill. You can't hurt me like that. Oh, I'm not gonna move. I'm not gonna move. I'm not gonna do anything. What was I saying? I'm sure I was saying something, but I kind of forgot. Oh, yeah. You know, like, that's kind of like the same thing as saying, you know, like, I want to travel back in time and start streaming before everybody else did. <laughs> I want to go back to 2012 and start doing Minecraft Let's Plays. I mean, yeah, you can hope that you find a time machine that lets you do that. And then you will, you know, be huge. But... Realistically speaking, it's probably not going to happen. I got a mango? Am I starting over? Oh, I'm going to kill that son of a bitch. Oh my god. Where is he? Bring me that nerd. Where? I oh, I can't believe it. Where? There he is. I'm. Oh my god. I'm gonna just. I am. 
I'm mad now. I'm just like, <laughs> Come here, you fucker! <laughs> Oh my god. Kill it! Kill it! Kill them! Die! It's not dying! I don't do damage! No! It's got satanic! Kill him! Kill him! Yes! Got him. Oh my god, I can't believe it! Ugh, now we gotta actually play the video game. Alright, Raikria, what was gonna be like the end goal? What was gonna be the last thing that we get? Raikria, Raikria says she knew. How am I getting here? So mad, dude. I was doing so well. I was playing so well. A nuke. I was gonna get a fucking nuke! How long would I have needed to lie? Uh, to, to, to wait. Sorry. Forty minutes now. You don't know. You're just making shit up. Oh my god. Doesn't reset when you move, you can get the next reward after moving. Really? But it, I got a mango! Alright, I'm just gonna go back to waiting then. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna die, our towers is dying. Towers are dying, our ancient is dying. I have to check my phone one second. Ah, it's all a disaster. Okay. Oh, what is this? <sighs> I got sentries again. Your middle tower is under attack. I'm pretty sure it reset. I'm pretty sure it reset. It might not reset on movement. But it might reset on death. I'm gonna gonna see. Next will be bracers. Yeah, if we if we get the stuff we got earlier, I don't know if it was bracers or like um, what's it called? Your ancient is under <sighs> I forgot what it's called. The tome, right? Nice sunstrike. All right. What are we getting? Well, so far I'm getting nothing. I wonder who these items were like meant for, though. Right, we got like blink dagger and TP boots and uh, necro book, which is kind of an odd combination. It has a brace. Oh my god, where is that son of a bitch? All right, I say we dedicate the rest of this game just to killing our best friend. Right, that's it. That's it. Just nothing else. We only kill this guy. Don't end the game. Let me finish. Raikwa is still standing. <gasps> All right, time, guys. We need to hold. I want to see what happens if Raikwa gets the nuke. 
If Raikou, Raikou, are you still progressing on the like scale of new stuff? God damn it. Okay, good. All right, then we'll we just need to defend everybody. Okay, we're just gonna defend. Telescope, yeah. Very good. I like that dragon. That's a cool dragon. Chat, push one if you're a cool dragon. Let's get ourselves some crits. Dedalus. Um, that's a lot of neutral items coming out, isn't it? Good, good, good. I mean, as far as Dragon Knight goes, this is actually a pretty reasonable item build. Alright, we just need to hold. Man, I'm still so upset. So, there always gotta be one wiener, right? There always has to be a wiener. That does wiener shit. Hello. Fight me. Why is there a divine rape here? <laughs> okay. I'll... I'll take it. That works for me. You got it? Wait, I'm coming. You have a nuke. I want to see. I want to see. Wait, one second. I gotta kill this guy really quick. Alright, I'm not killing that. I don't do enough damage. Wait. What? Oh, there you are. Nuclear bomb! Do it! Do it! <laughs> oh, I can't just kill it. Oh, it's like not even hard. I'm not gonna kill it. I feel like if I killed it, that would just ruin it. But it would not be hard to kill. Die already! God damn it. There we go. Basically impossible to get that kill. Yeah, Dragonite is not the best late game hero. Like, he's good. He's just not like a great main carry. Super, super late game, that is. Before that, he is pretty fantastic, honestly. And... All right, guys, you ready? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it even has a cool animation. That's pretty fantastic, I have to say. That's pretty damn cool. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating on the video. We definitely appreciate that. And by the way, I don't want to hear anybody complaining about the fact that I just talked the whole game. I played the game mode. That's what I did. I played the game mode the way it was meant to be played. And I will not listen to anybody telling me otherwise. Thank you. Alright, I'll see you guys tomorrow.